you know is this mentality i used to be there i know everything see that's why they don't like me because i know everything they know and i know what they don't know so they don't like me because i can expose all the things they are doing but they cannot reveal what i know that's the problem because in nigeria we have a forum where all fathers gather and i'm a member and that forum you can't join until you are invited there are just about 120 of us the whole of nigeria i'm a member of that forum and when i started preaching the message of christ i was invited by the fathers whoever you know is a father in the forefront in the nigerian ministry they are all there and i'm among them so when i started preaching this message and it was going all over nigeria this became agitated so they summoned me they summoned me they wrote me later that i should come and explain this nonsense i'm preaching and their intent were, was that they wanted to label me nationally a heretic so i prayed and i prepared a 440 page defense of what i preach the coordinator of the forum is very close to me okay because he too preaches the grace message if you know bishop mike okonko okay it's close to me so bishop mike called me and said hey bella are you preparing to face these guys i said don't worry sir it's, it's, it's not an issue at all there are more serious issues than that so he said uh, so what are you going to do as he said how many hours will you need i said two three hours will be fine I said, then I said to him, I've prepared a 440 page paper. He said, No, Abel, they will sleep. It's too big. So I compressed it to an executive summary of about 40 pages. And then we came that night, everybody was seated. And I stood up before all of them. I mean, whoever is who, from Pastor Adegoye down, they were all there hi welcome to the preachers portal if you're new to this channel please hit the like button share and please subscribe well in today's video we can see dr abel damina sharing his testimony how he was summoned by pastors in nigeria like he said the who is who in nigerian church um, and to come and defend his style of teaching and um, his style of teaching in quotes the heretic style of teaching because his message is kind of christocentric and in a way sort of endorses sin lasciviousness and what have you as you don't struggle not to stop the pawn don't struggle at all don't struggle just keep watching the pawn. but as you're watching the pawn, spend more time hearing the word spend more time if you watch the one hour spend three four hours just listening to the word of god take notes go get all my teachings on christ just keep learning and learning and learning after a while you find out that your appetite for the point is dying and your appetite for the word of god is growing before you know it you when when you even see will be irritated in a way and um, at the same time saying that um, once saved always saved and a lot of message that doesn't really sit well especially because of the personal encounters people have had and especially because of people's um, personal convictions teachings and all that but what he has done what good thing we know about dr Eben damina has done in the body of christ has made a lot of people and you know, begin to ask questions many people and christians that we have today they don't study the bible for themselves they don't have a personal communion or communication with god they don't have a personal now devotion and he has actually led a lot of us into digging deep into the scripture and really understanding and you know separating the wheat from the chaff and that is one good thing that he has done majority of us will not certainly agree with a lot of his doctrinal teachings and practices but the truth is that the man is coming from somewhere and he he, he earned that respect and let's listen to how he engaged the pastors and because he was actually summoned and we have to look for this video he was actually summoned by Nigeria pastors to come and defend what he talks about and that is a good one and like he said he came and he defended it so let's keep listening and see the outcome of the meeting how it ended and the fact that he mentioned names and that is why we put the pictures in the thumbnail of this video so keep watching please don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe for more videos because this is an expanding topic and more videos concerning this regard will be coming up shortly God bless you. See you in our next upload. Bye for now. So I began with principles of Bible interpretation. Then I went into 
the concept of grace from Genesis I traveled down to the epistles when I finished I said this is what I go around the world preaching any questions any questions so one of the fathers stood up Dr. Damina very elderly man maybe 70 supposing a man is committing fornication and is born again and the trumpet sounds will he go to heaven so all of them said answer 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 they thought they thought that was a serious question so I stood up and I said to them in Bible teaching there are no yeses or no's there is explanation so let's go through scriptures I began to throw the scriptures one by one and one by one and one when I finished I said that's the position of scriptures I rest my case and the man said no I need a yes or no <laughs> so Bishop Mike stood up and said you need a yes or no let me answer you if a man is truly born again has the Holy Spirit and gets into fornication mistakenly and the trumpet sounds he's in heaven one time but a man that is born again won't go around committing fornication so after all of that one of the main fathers stood up and said that presentation if I had the powers I would have given you a PhD for just this presentation then he said well we adopt this into the minutes every one of you fathers go and study it let the Holy Spirit open it up to you and you can teach it in your churches there's nothing false in this message let's go for dinner and they wrote the minutes I have copies of it do you understand yes so the message of Christ is critical and uh, it will attract all those kind of things